you know, an exciting time for you. You're going through that stage of, you know, really you know, diving in, and now you can start putting your true fingerprints on this thing. Yeah, I'm excited to be as we go into year two. I think uh, each year teams at Fordham will start to take on the characteristics of some of the better teams we've coached over the years. Uh, we have greater depth. You know, last year we were just playing to kind of hang around and see if we could steal some games late. We were playing five or six guys, and with a couple injuries, we really struggled, especially through the month of January. So uh, I think as you see us bring in New York guards, which we, you know, we brought in six players this year, uh, three freshman guards are from New York, two uh, sophomore guards. They're more ball screen type players and get into the lane and make shots and make plays. They'll take on the characteristics of our team, which are basically pick and roll basketball. Yeah, before we touch on those guys, how much did you have to tweak your system last year? Too oh, much. Too much. <laughs> yeah, too much. I mean, uh, I had felt like I had to coach every pass at times, and, and I'm not built that way. I'm not good like that. Uh, you know, offensively, I really think offensive basketball, like any sport on offense, it's about spacing. And I try to get players who can play offensively and give them the space and the comfort and confidence to play and score. And I think we've done that with the group we have coming in. Now, on defensive and rebounding, you know, I'm on about that constantly because if you don't do that, you can't win. So that's something I, I coach them up on every play, every possession. But the offensive end was difficult for me to coach that way. Back to the recruiting and all the Fordham fans, a real heavy metropolitan in New York field to your first class. Yeah, well, I, I still believe, you know, uh, that the best, especially backward players, you can find in the metropolitan area in New York. And, uh, you know, we may have to go nationally or internationally to find some bigs. There's just there's fewer six foot ten inch people in the world, you know, so you got to travel for them. But, uh, you know, we're going to find tough New York cards. And that's what we have in our sophomore class, Lamont Samuels from Boys High. And uh, Brandon Frazier from Bishop Laughlin, and then in the freshman class, uh, you know, Fatty McMillan, who's a Brooklyn native as well, who played at Lincoln High School, and won a couple of state championships there. Ryan Smith out of Midwood High School, and, uh, and then Jeff Short out of JFK up in the Bronx, you know, so uh, there's still great New York cards out there. Being on hard numbers, I've never been, even with teams that we knew were real good in years past, but uh, you know, the first thing when you get a young bunch is you got, you got to let them understand how hard you got to play and how hard you got to compete on every play, and, and we'll do that. But I expect us to move up the ladder in this conference at a steady pace, um, and I'm not very patient, you know, so I could, I could bail them out and say, hey guys, you're only a freshman, I don't expect, uh, you know, that's not the way we're going to do this, you know, I expect them. Uh, to go out and learn on the job and learn on the fly. And I'm going to let them play through some mistakes, especially early in the year, so we can become a dangerous team later. And at the end of the year, I expect us to be good enough to, to you know, scare some people and then make a run at the conference tournament when we get into the, uh, into, you know, late February, early March. Yeah, well, one of the problems that we don't have that a lot of other schools do is, is getting games because we're in the metropolitan area. And, and I'm big on trying to play as many local teams as we can, I think. You know, that's part of our responsibility as, a, as the Atlantic 10 member in New York is to help college basketball in New York rise. So, uh, you know, we're going to be playing St. John's at the, at the Garden this year and December 17th. We'll still play Manhattan College, a game that Fordham and Manhattan have played for over 100 years. So we're excited about that matchup. And, uh, and then you go out there and you go, we're playing Harvard in a, in a four-year uh, series. We open up at Syracuse. So I think it's a challenging schedule for us, but it's a schedule that allows us to grow as a team. And one of our goals every year is to have a winning non-conference record.